Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Friends. Today I'm doing another embellishment on the 11th, hosted by Deb Houck of Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. And today I decided to take my monthly hero kit from May 2017. I know you've seen it before. And make some embellishments. These are the finished embellishments. I have four mermaids, two of two different kinds. I have lots of little critters. And I have the clams with the oysters. I used this for the oysters, for the pearls. I'm going to be going to a voiceover to show you a, a quick run of my process. So please stay tuned. First, I wanted to show you that I stamped the images using my homemade stamp positioner and that I used my Shuttle Art alcohol markers and I had swatched them out to make it a little easier for me. I used two different shades. I'm not the best colorist but I did my best to try to look everything, to try to make everything look mermaidy. <laughs> so yes, a thought process involved. And I don't know the color right off, but I can certainly look that up. So I stamped out all the mermaids twice, but as you can see, pretty soon that I realize I'm not going to use the middle one. You notice that they have tops and the middle one does not. I don't know if Hero Arts realized that at the time or not. So doing my typical assembly line, trying to get everything colored at once before I put the colors away. Now all three of these have dies. I will be speeding that part up. I just wanted to slow this down a little so you could see my coloring. But not so much that it would be tedious. Different color hair as well as different color skin tones. As you can see above, I already have the oysters colored and cut out, and then I used the uh, the shimmering nubo drops for the pearl. And I do apologize for the snowflake dye being in the shot. I just did the other video and I forgot to put it away which is very typical yes this is when I decided to get rid of that middle mermaid because she didn't have a top on <laughs> I'm going to be making two cards with these embellishments. So I think I have plenty of mermaids anyway. She 
is going to be Pacific Island look. The beautiful hair and skin. Reminded me of Moana and Easter Island. I don't know about you, but when I first watched Moana, I didn't realize it was about Easter Island. Sorry, my head gets in the way. I'm hoping this little close-up helps. I really love my shuttle art. They do a perfect job for me. My hair used to be that color. <laughs> now I'm going to do the rocks in a combination. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to do the rock next, but I'm doing the fish. There's our little Nemo. <laughs> And I get out my white gel pen to brighten up the white stripes. And now I do the rock. It's a combination of warm grays, a darker and a lighter. Same thing here. Of course, no two rocks are ever the same. Now I finish. And just for kicks, I did Google the different pictures of starfish and seahorses to see what colors they were. When I started stamping these, I thought I had all the dyes to the little sea creatures, but <laughs> I did manage to find everything but seahorse and one of the fish. My fussy cutting isn't the best either. So I go ahead and put Wink of Stella on my mermaids, as I always do. Now this part's a little bit faster, like I said, because the die cutting does get a little boring. But after I die cut them, I put the Wink of Stella on. Yes, I end up fussy cutting because I looked for the dies and they weren't in, they weren't on that magnet sheet like I thought. All these tiny things do have a tendency to get lost. So I just did the best I could. Do have a die for the oyster, however, so I'm thankful for that.
that one fish kind of looks like Dr. Seuss, doesn't it? One fish, two fish, red, blue, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> All right. After I finished that little bit, I realized I had a few more that I had stamped out. So I do have another oyster and a couple more of the sea creatures. And I wanted to show you that these dies were, I don't know if I call them the fancy dies because I do have that too. I have this separate fancy die that I bought separate. But these came in the kit and they don't have an accompanying stamp, but they make these really cool fronds of seaweed and other sea plants. Now, as you know, the different colors, they vary browns, greens, and so I just made a whole bunch. So there's that, and there's all these wonderful little embellishments that I plan on making cards with. So thank you so much for joining me, and make sure to look at everybody else that's down in my description box and see what they created. See you soon. Bye-bye.